Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. This is episode number 12. Yes, sir. And we are the Bar Talk, Talk Podcast. Podcast. And yeah, welcome time. back. So, guys, I know we've missed last week, but on this week's episode, we're going to have uh, something different. You know, me, Ace, and Brian, Aztec Baby, we're all Mexican. So, we decided to bring a little diversity into our podcast this week. So, we're going to bring un Colombiano. Uh, his name is Matthew. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are you guys? We're doing good, yeah, man. How are you guys? Who wants to start the podcast off with a question, man? Any of y'all? Or you uh, want me to go ahead and start this I'll, off? I'll start it with a little juicy one, bro. I right, do it, do it. Go ahead. What are the... the no, no, no. First, you got to get to know Matthew, okay, man. Yeah. We got to know who uh, he is, uh, what he does. Come on, man. Uh, tell us about... So tell us some things about you. Um, Where do you work? Um, Right now, I'm working at a restaurant, but I'm still in high school. Oh, so. yeah. Okay, okay. Any other questions? To get to. Okay, I have another question, Matthew. Okay, so do you feel like do you feel like high school is something you need in your life, or do you feel like that's just something that's been like something you needed to do to get to the next step in your life? And how do you feel in regards to that? I don't think anybody needs high school. But why though? Why do you think that? It's a waste of time. You're learning something that you're not you're not gonna use in the future. Big facts. <laughs> okay, so out of your four years in high school, what has been like the like the best learning experience you've had? Like being it meeting new people or like any subjects you think you would like take into the future? Or what do you think? Probably none. I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's not really none of them that I would use in the future because there's a lot of careers out there that yeah. anybody could do that you're not going to need stuff for school. Um, okay, exactly, exactly. Okay, what's the best experience you've had in high school so far? Best experience, um, seeing a bunch of fights. Oh, in high school? <laughs> yeah, definitely seeing a bunch of fights. Okay, what's funny. been the worst about <laughs> being in high school? When I cheated on this girl and all of her friends came at me. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> my boy is savage. <laughs> savage. Nah, don't cheat. That's fucked up. <clears throat> I guess. I guess. All right. So. Now, to start off with that juicy question, now that we know a little bit about his background, Ryan, uh-huh. ask him. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What is it? What are the best three things about Colombia? The food, mm-hmm. the girls, oh, okay. mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> the like the views. Okay, so you got three. Okay, okay so I'm going to tell you this. The only reason why we asked this is because we have a Colombian friend, and, and she was like... Ask him this, and if he doesn't say woman, then he's gay. <laughs> and I was like, dude, you have a point. Damn. Like, the, all the booty. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, I've never been there, right? But I was going to say uh, the woman, plastic surgery, and the views, too. Because, like, as everyone goes there to get their, their, their teachers done. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That, that's my opinion on all things. Right, all, right. all right. I'm going to ask you this question, and then you just fill it in. Matthew likes what about Colombia? Girls. Mm. Matthew hates what about Colombia? Traffic. Sheesh. Is it worse than here in ATL? Uh, no. Yeah. It's worse? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. It's definitely worse, yeah. So, like, over there, do you guys, like, travel in taxis? Or is it, do they have Ubers there? Or, or everyone's driving their own car? Taxis. Everybody has cars, motorcycles. Um, walking, bikes, everything. Oh, it's like here, basically. I bet yeah. there's a lot more motorcycles, though, huh? Yeah, everybody's cutting off everybody in motorcycles. Yeah. Of course. So it's just yeah. like Mexico, bro. Yeah. It'd be like... Pew, pew. Okay, what's the capital of Colombia? Bogota. Bogota. Dude, my, uh-huh. my dumbass put Medellin on my notes. <laughs> 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 who knows how many Colombians you just offended, bro? And I spelled it wrong. I spelled yeah. it like the brand. They're about to stop watching. They're like, fuck it. Real. I'm They're sorry, like, man. Uh, I, it was just my notes, man. I was just typing in fast, like, okay, so I don't forget. <laughs> man, <laughs> it, was, it was embarrassing. And good that he corrected me. And then I, saw, I also pronounced Colombia wrong. I, I, I pronounced it with something that was, I don't even want to get yeah, there. We're not going to talk about it because it's embarrassing. <laughs> all right, man. I have a question for all of you guys. I have a question, too. All right, go ahead and ask. And ask before. What's the, uh, like, what part of Colombia are, like, the worst women from? Damn. Uh, and then the um, best. Like, the worst. Like, worst as in, like, slutty is? Or, no, like, like, or what are you talking about? Like, uh, what part of Colombia are the worst women from and then the best women? But from? worse in what sense? Like, Malportadas. Like, you like can, either be, or you can like either be like gold diggers or like whores or like oh the wifey God, type. Damn. Or the trashiest girls. Like trashy girls. Okay, damn. From like trashy, girls. trashy to wifey. Like what's the best city to yeah. go to? 
the worst is probably like Medellin, where I'm from. <laughs> oh, Damn. Damn. But the best is probably Cali. Cali? Oh, yeah. I've heard yeah, good things I've about that. It. I watched yeah. the show. Uh, Sin, the sin, gonna put a fucking uh, novella. Sin, sin, sin senos, no hay paraíso. <laughs> have you seen that? <laughs> They're like, oh, todas las mujeres de Cali están bien buenas. Dicen. That's what they say. I don't know. Yeah. But, um, damn. That, that, that's a good one. That's a good one. Need damn. Find me one over there. What's the go-to <laughs> dish over there? Like, it's something you guys have tradition. Like, us is tacos. What is your guys' go-to? Bandeja paisa. Yeah. Oh, could, could you describe that plate? All right. It's like, um, like, charro beans. The rice, um, you can have ade- arepa. This shit making me hungry. Keep going. A steak, eggs, mm. um, and you can mm. add a bunch of stuff to it, like the drinks, Colombiana, Postobon, a bunch of stuff like that. I will say, I've noticed this, Colombians, like, prefer sweeter foods, right? Yeah, definitely. Dude, I fucking, like, no no hate or anything, but I cannot eat, like, sweet food. Like, yeah. if it's, like, sweet, it has to be, like, dessert. It can't be, like, food, food. What is that thing we had at um, um, Fogo the Child? It was, like, Platano, whatever was it called? You know what I'm talking about? It was, like, um, it was Colombian, right? It's not Colombian. It's just, like, a fried banana or like uh, a cooked banana. Uh, plantains? Oh, yeah. Platanos yeah. maduros. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. we had yeah. those over there, and it was pretty good. It was, it was just a little too sweet for my taste. Like, I'll have one or two, but then after that, it's, uh, it's not good. Man, I'll, okay, so so... That's your go-to dish over there. So, what's your go-to drink in Colombia? Like, what, is there something they make like they don't My make over boy, here? You don't know aguardiente, bro. No, no. Besides oh, liquor, wow. bro. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, I thought you come on. No, no. I, I know it's aguardiente, but like you know how for us it's like horchata oh, or okay. agua de mango. Like over there, what is it? Uh, Colombiana is like the most popular soda. Also, postobon. Oh, oh postobon. Yeah, I've heard of bro, that one. I, I might get a lot of hate for this, but okay. postobon tastes like fucking sidral. Like the apple soda from ours, uh-huh. but it, I I don't know. That's what I think. <laughs> I have no comment for that one. <laughs> it doesn't taste like it though. It does. No, yeah. <laughs> not to me. Damn, Hijo de that puta. me. Puta. No, okay. Now I want to ask you guys all a question. So now we're leaving that Colombia topic, man. So this subject it goes like this. What the fuck? Would you rather go to prison for one year, or go to prison until you finish a Rubik's cube? Oh, <laughs> Alright, who wants to start this off? Anybody? I'd probably go with the Rubik's Cube Why? Uh, because I think I can solve it in under a year <laughs> A year? Yeah. That long? I said under, I, I said under. Uh, I I, I, Okay, under so, like, so like being realistic How long do you think it would take you to solve the Rubik's Cube? Uh, if I actually tried, maybe like a month Maybe two months Two months? Yeah for one Rubik's cube, but you yeah. know that shit hard as fuck, right? No, it's not. It's not. I mean, it's not. It's not crazy Dude, difficult. I, I I do like time here and there, and I've done like thirty minutes, like half of it. If I really sat down and tried, I think I could do it in less than a week. All right, but that's my answer. All right, you go, you go. <laughs> what a year I for a prison like or solve the Rubik's cube? Rubik's cube, and it'd probably take me like about a month. I yeah. Okay. What about you, Matthew? What would you do? I'm going there for a year. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to struggle. He's like, Fuck that shit. <laughs> but like, why though? You feel you have no faith in yourself? I have no faith in myself. I'm wrong. Like, I can't solve it. Have you ever tried solving one? Yes. It's pretty hard, huh? It's super hard. I can't. Damn, do it. so you're going a year for a year. Damn. Damn, that's pretty crazy. I would probably, I'll probably spend like a week in jail, maybe. <clears throat> All right, man. So this one, what is the most important thing money can't buy? Mm. Anyone want to answer this one first? I have my answer, but I feel like it's just so basic. Oh, okay, but okay, so we can't say loyalty. All right. Yeah, because that we we've used that before. You got one? Family. Family. Ooh, Definitely. that that yeah, one's a good that one. That's a deep one. Uh, Damn. Money can't buy family. Yeah. I don't know. It kind of depends. Like, really? Yeah. There, because there, there's some fiends out there, bro. Damn, but like, would you even consider them family at that point if you know they're well, with you just well, cause I mean, the money? True. That that's just they, it's the money. It's the money talks. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I would put family in that one. Lealdad. I'm just kidding. Okay. Same shit as loyalty. But that's it. Ooh, so what would you put? Hmm. Something money can't buy. Bitches. No, we can't buy that. They can buy a lot. <laughs> <of them. laughs> they can buy a lot of them. Damn. Damn. I'd probably have to say parents. Oh. Your parents, yeah. That's one thing that I feel like it will never, like you. you I mean, can't buy no amount of money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good one. What about you, Ryan? A best friend. 
Eh. Ay, lo. Sama, <laughs> man. <laughs> I, I was thinking about that on the way here because I was going over the questions. Uh-huh. And my answer would have to be youth, like being young again. Youth? Oh, yeah, yeah, money cannot yeah. buy that for sure. I remember, like, I mean, I'm just reminiscing. Yeah, you can, like, get testosterone and stuff, but you're never going to be when you're 21. Like, that's, that's like, you're just peak, a, just peak, peak savagery. Like, you're, you're fucking anything you see at that age. You know what I'm saying? But, like, what I'm trying to say is that, like, God, I feel like youth, youth is what I would want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like when I'm 35, I'd be like, damn, bro, I wish I was 24 <laughs> again, you know? But that that's my answer to that one. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, that was my answer to that one. So any of you guys, dude, go ahead and go ahead and ask the motherfucking question of the podcast. We're going to do this one yeah, earlier today. Talk? Do this one earlier, man. Ask right, him. Guys, ask him right now. Oh, so the guest is going to answer first. All right, Matthew. So I saw this TikTok, right? Let me explain it first, and then I'll ask, ask you guys. The, um, it was like six or seven girls interviewing, a, like, there was, uh, from what I saw, there was only one guy on the podcast. And they were like, why do guys only want one thing? And he was like, what are you talking about? And she was there, they were like, pussy. And he was like, well, have you ever sat and thought about it? He was like, what if the only thing you have to, to offer is pussy? So do you think that the girls that you only want to fuck can only offer you pussy? Or you think that's false? I think they can offer pussy, a lot of stuff. Like, they can buy you stuff, offer you stuff. Yeah, but why do you think it's like you only want to fuck, and that's it? So, so what he's referring to is like, you know how some girls be like, "Oh, you only want to be with me because you're just trying to fuck me, and that's it." And so, his 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 argument is that why do girls tell you that personally from your experience? Because they know, you know, they know that guys have more, like, hormone, hormones, I guess. So they, they like, want to do it more often than, I guess, girls. So you think, all right, so you think girls that you want to fuck have more to offer? Yeah, yeah, I guess. What? Why the, why the face? You're confusing me, bro. I, I, I'm, it's, I'm it's, confused. Okay. <laughs> okay, look, so basically what he was trying let's to track, ask, what, what he was trying track, to ask you... Track. Is that you, some girls, some some garden tools come up to you and they're like, oh, wh- why are you only with me to, for my pussy? And then how, what I would say, right, is oh, that's the only thing you have to offer because no trabaja, no limpia, yeah, no you don't clean, you don't do this. Like all you got, all you got, all you got is some big titties and like, you know, and, and that's it. And I only come to you because I'm trying to get the nut out. Basically, his point of view, basically, he's like, why do you think? girls think like that but the way is because it's the only thing they offer if, if, if you how i see things if you can fuck a girl on the first date then you lose so much interest on the girl what do you guys think about I, that i, I would, you guys, say, like, I would you, say like interest yeah. but like mostly respect like if a girl lets you like clap on the first date like, like you lose respect right you kind of just yeah. like mm, yeah, like, like, man, it was that easy like, imagine the others yeah like how yeah, much, you know how much other saying? guys should give it up you know what i'm saying and like you know what's you know another, what i'm saying Okay, speaking about red flags, bro. Another red oh, flag. Johnny got oh, into this. Shit. Another red flag is like, so you know when you're about to get in with a girl, and then you're like, oh, what's your body count? If the girl says three or four, that girl is lying, because all these girls be saying three or four. I'm like, bro, there's no way y'all Double have it. the same magical number, three Double or four. Up. But like times that times three, goddamn, no hell no, that's crazy, no. I mean, <laughs> that's just another red flag that I see that I was gonna bring up last week, but I didn't. So lying about body count. Yeah, I feel like if a girl says her body count two, uh, three or four, that's a lie. Well, what's the biggest red flag for you in a girl? The body count, yeah, definitely. Because yeah. if they have a high body count, like, like, you, like you lose interest, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, All besides right. body count, what do you think is another one? If they can't dance. Ooh, Ooh that's but, a good one. But what, if, what if they want, like, they don't know how to dance, but they're like, can you teach me? Like, I want to learn. What if she a 10? She's like, teach me, daddy. I mean, if she's willing to put in the time and effort, then yeah. You're teaching? Yeah. yeah. But how much how much time frame would you give? Be like, oh, you got a, a month to learn. You got a week. Or, what, or like, what's your time frame on that? <laughs> Probably like a month. A month? Like, she has to learn by herself, too, and not help her, too. Ah, you know? that's okay, cool. Okay. She got to put in there for outside yeah, of her. Yeah. Not bad. What about you, Brian? The biggest red flag? Right now, currently in your life right now. <laughs> You're going to have to come back to me on that one so I can think about it. I know yours. <laughs> Can I say it for you? <laughs> what do you think of it? Um, having a having a guy best friend. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, oh. I feel like that's just so basic. Like, nah, but I like mean, that's like a I feel like girls don't understand 
how important that what how how right, let magnitude me, let that me say something real quick. <clears throat> guys and girls cannot be friends bro i'm gonna just say it like not that. if you have a, a boyfriend huh not if you're single you can oh yeah but, but if, like, you, if you have a boyfriend you cannot have a guy best boyfriend friend. or girlfriend or vice we're versa not, we're not sexist here right but yeah like <laughs> at the end of the day guys only want one thing let's see to fuck <laughs> so is, is that your answer right now? I was right. Yeah, I guess. What about you, Ace? Hmm. Red flag. Come on, man. Think about it. Just let it out. Fuck it. You'll be like, no ass. That's <laughs> 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 no, Uh. Damn. I mean, yeah, guy, best friend. Um. What else? Someone that's ambitionless. Someone who has no ambition. Yeah. This motherfucker said ambitionless. <laughs> ambitionless has no ambitions. Okay. Doesn't I would, doesn't try. Uh so basically, you wouldn't want to give it a like a lazy ass girl. Cause, I mean, because because lack of ambition means laziness sometimes. Yeah, there, laziness sometimes, but then at the same time, there's a difference. Uh, even then, because there's times where obviously we all feel lazy. We're just like, man, like. Maybe not today, but then you're like, nah, fuck it. Let's go ahead and do it anyway. Let's get it over with. Like, if they can't even get past that, yeah. that's a red flag. How would you guys feel if the girl you're with drink more than you? More alcohol? Yeah, like she could hang more than you. I feel like a bitch. How would you feel then? Like, would you be like, damn, I'm impressed? Or you'd be like, dang, what the hell she's been going through? I've been impressed, but I'd be like, who the fuck she drinking with, bro? Yeah. <laughs> would, you, would, you, would you guys still stay with her? Yeah, I would stay with her. What about you, Matthew? Hell no. You want to stay with her? Hell no. <laughs> Why? Because she's supposed to be taking me home when I'm <laughs> not the other way around. <laughs> what about you, Gus? Yeah, I don't think I could stay. You wouldn't? Nah. Just because she drinks more than you? Well, like, what if her dad's? Although, nah. what, what if what if her dad's like a lumberjack yeah, yeah, or something? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, like a big ass. Her dad's fucking. probably just like a fucking. He, he's he's he built it. Man. He built it. Yeah. Have you ever guys? Have you guys? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh-huh. What about you, bro? Um, I would stay with her. I'll be impressive, like girl. He's like, teach me the ways, baby girl. I'd be like, let's, I'd be like, let's see who passes out first. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, she'd be like, I'm fucking you tonight. <laughs> well, that's not a female. <laughs> that's not a female no more. You better run, man. I forgot my train I'm of thought, bro. man. Um, <laughs> ah, that shit was. Impressive. You got, you got any questions, bro? Um, let it out. What's like? A race y'all would would not date. Ooh, damn, damn, bro, he putting us on the spot. <laughs> I have an answer, and the only reason why I say this is because of hygiene. I, I wouldn't want to date. I'm going to be very specific right now. Mm. Musty people. That I'm not. I'm not going to say a, that's not a race though. No, that's a race. Nah, that's no. not a race. <laughs> <laughs> he asked what race. Musty. He, no, Say it. Race. Musty. No, he didn't. He Any race. race that doesn't put on deal, I wouldn't date. No, he's so race. you're referring to are the. Are you, you want me to be hella specific? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. like skin tone and complexion and where they're from? Nah, just where they're from. Okay. I know where they're from. Okay. But. Sometimes they just happen to be. From Middle East. Uh, religions, yeah, from the Middle East. It just happens. But it could be anyone from Africa or South America. If their hygiene is bad, I wouldn't just do it. Like, if they're musty, that's my biggest concern. Yeah. If a girl is musty, like, uh, uh, like uh, 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 and Take her to the gym. Uh, 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 no, I'd be like, what am I dating? A fucking a man or what the hell? Like, nah, nah, nah. That's mine. What about y'all? What about you, Matthew? Bro? What's yours? If I had to be, well, if I had to be honest, I'm going to interrupt here. I'd probably go... Dang, I'd probably go with black girls. There's a lot of really beautiful ones. Don't get me wrong. I've worked with a lot of them, too. They know. They're, oof, there's a lot of beautiful ones, but I don't know. I don't think I can handle that. Too much for you? Too much for me. I'd be like that, bro. bro have you seen what Blueface go through? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Didn't they have... Aren't they having, like, a bunch of fucking arguments right now? And, like, fighting know. and she's shit? She's pregnant. They got I thought married. Pre- she was like pregnant? Yeah, Drinking she, Dude, she just did this crazy-ass shit on the... On the twenty uh, Adam twenty one or was it twenty two Adam twenty two whatever, so the the girl was like Krishan she was like I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant or I'm on my period but my question is to you guys can the girl be pregnant and still be on her period I think Y'all know it, about I think that it, I think it can happen I don't it can know. happen but it's but rare right it's like it's not common but okay and then so if she thinks she's pregnant why mm-hmm. was she still drinking honey. 
She's fucking stupid. I don't fucking know. She literally got a tat of blue face on her neck, on her face. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Oh, hell come on, no. bro. She's still missing her tooth. <laughs> She's missing a tooth. I'm not gonna lie. I though. feel like she likes it like that. I'm not gonna lie though. She used to be bad as like bad, bro. Like I've seen pictures of uh, before. Yeah. Before she, she used to run dating. track and field, no, or mm-hmm. something. Oh, bro. that's her. Yes. Yeah. Whoa. Like I'm not. I'm not okay. So bro. so like so you're saying that um, blueface changed her? Not necessarily him, but like probably the people she hung around. Her dad is hella toxic too, bro. I'm gonna say that. So I guess like her meeting a toxic guy and then her dad's already toxic and then. What about you, Matthew? What would you say? Or, uh, no, to uh, a race. A race you wouldn't date. Indian. Indians. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, Indian females or males? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, what about you? But why though? What? Why though? Because every time I see an Indian, bro, is they're always smelling bad. Bro. They get it all the time, bro. Damn. What about you? Me? Yeah. I already answered, bro. What'd you say? I already answered. You didn't answer. You didn't answer, bro. What <laughs> she, uh, I had to go with my brother, bro. Black girls. Yeah? Not light skins. Black girls. Damn. <laughs> Y'all messing up, bro. But, um, Dan, I have this other question. Um, if, if you were dating, say you had a girlfriend, right? And mm-hmm. she was a really bad driver. And you tried teaching her, but she was still butt cheeks. Like, w- how would you move forward from there? I'd be like, oh, aprendes or aprendes, <clears throat> Like, well, like what, what if she, you've done your, like, your best you could do and she just doesn't improve? What would you do? Find a new girlfriend. No, I'm just kidding. You would? <laughs> nah. I don't nah, know, you can bro. be honest, bro. Like, say you've been dating nah. her two years. Okay. And she just... Ask? Every time she drives your truck, like a dent or a scratch oh, or nah. or something, nah. you know. She ain't never touching the truck ever again, bro. But what if you drink one night and she takes it home? I don't and give then, a fuck. I'd be like, we at, stay in one And then she fuck fucks up the wheel and axle or something. Uh uh-uh. uh. No? Nah. No, sir. Would you leave her? If she fucked up the truck that bad? The wheel and axle? I'd probably make her pay for it. Bro. Would you leave her? I don't. Like, if she paid for it, then then uh, I wouldn't. What about but you, Matthew? Like, what would you like, do? Fuck you. She pays for it, she pays for it. But but what if she don't pay for it? What if she like I'll pay you in pussy? Nah, <laughs> hell no. Nah. <laughs> nah. Not enough. What if she like I'll give you a kid? Not enough. That's even that's worse. Even, yeah, that's even worse. <laughs> like, that's more expensive than the What if she's like I'll let you have a threesome with another girl? Oh, I mean. Okay, that's different. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah. That, nah. Nah. That's not enough. So I have a question after this after y'all are done. Alright, and we we already answered it. They said no. Would you? I would leave her. After the first scratch on it's the on room. site. On <laughs> site, bro. Because <laughs> I, I, I'm a good teacher, I think, at driving. So anyone, anyone I've taught, they've learned good. So if they don't learn when I teach them, then they have some. Yeah, I, I taught him everything he knows. She again. a liar. <laughs> you a liar. <laughs> All right, I got a question. I saw this quote the other day where it was like something along the lines of, "The most dangerous man is someone who found out his worth," or something mm. like that. And I wanted to get y'all's opinion on that. I think it's pretty accurate. Pretty what do you think on that, Matthew? Yeah, pretty accurate. Gus? Yeah, it's pretty accurate. What about you, bro? Damn, bro. I feel like... I feel like if men really <clears throat> understood... How valuable we are? How life really works. What do you mean? Like, for example, like... You know, right now that we're young, right? Uh-huh. We're, like, getting our money and stuff like that. And, like, when we're young, our value is pretty, pretty low. Because we, we have nothing to offer to women, right? Nothing mm-hmm. to contribute. And women, when they're young, they have everything to offer to anyone because they have the beauty, right? They're they're beautiful, they're young, they're they're whatever, they're sexy, right? Basically, that's what looks. Mm. So I feel like for in order for a man to be important, he has to build build something for himself, right? Mm-hmm. So like pretty much. Self worth, like what you're talking about and the quote, that's probably number one because if you if you have enough confidence to be alone for a certain time in your life and then once you get your money up and you get everything where you need it to be then like the world is yours like ha- as women get Literally. older they get less valuable as men get older they get more valuable because they bring more to the table do you, do you think a woman wants to be with someone that has nothing to offer it, like no a woman wants uh, like they want uh, what do you say like stability they want to be with someone that can offer someone at least what I think right or protection like I feel like woman like if she young she probably don't care now but give it four or five years when, mm-hmm. okay, she's 27, like, no one's wanting to be with her. Like, oh, she's going to start looking. 
And men, as we get older, man, we got more options because now we can date twenty one year olds again, you know, or like twenty two, like young, young, you know. That's just how I feel on that quote. I feel like I follow that quote now more than ever. Like I focus on myself, but if you see the PRs, I be hitting at the gym, but like every week, PR after (laughs) PR, and then like at my work, I also got a, I, I got a bonus and I got a raise, so like life is going good, you know. It's like shit's going pretty good for me right now, so I can't complain. Like, when I was at the, the sagas a lot, was not valuable in your life, you, like, make bigger steps in your life. Even though sometimes it hurts, but, like, little by little, you get better. Right? Yeah, damn. Little by little. Yeah. You know? I agree with you. You yeah. hit the nail right on the head. Yeah. I hit that so motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, Matthew, I have a question for you, man. What advice would you give your 15-year-old self right now that you know? Mm, save money. I'm spending on stupid stuff. Oh, that that's a very fucking good one because I used to spend money on stupid shit, bro. Like yeah. stupid shit, like hella tejanas, yeah, hella yeah. hella shirts to go out, Aldos, boots, bells. Nikes. Like, bro, and, and now I have them in my closet. I'm like, what the fuck is this any any good doing here? Like, man? I don't wear half of the shit. He's like, what the yeah, fuck? Man. I need this for? Yeah, like, exactly, <laughs> man. And like, I'm like, I used to buy an iPhone every year. I'm like, I don't need an iPhone every year. Yeah, bro. So now, like, yeah. I'll buy an iPhone every three years, four years, you know. So, like, dude, that's a very good one. What about you? What would you tell your 15-year-old self? <clears throat> Damn. First thing that comes up to mind, bro? I'm thinking, bro. Ace? Save your money. Nah, you can't say the same thing he did. You gotta switch it up. Ponte las pilas, bro. That's what I would say. Ponte las pilas? Yeah. Um, don't be scared of failing. I feel like that's a big one. I feel like people are scared to, like, do anything. Don't be scared of change, basically. That's good. That's a good one. Brian? That's what you said, it, bro. What'd you say? Ponte Ponte las pilas, pilas. Bro. Like, <laughs> that's the like, same one as his. Just, like, be prepared. Like, like life isn't easy, so, like, uh, yeah. Fuck, I don't know how to explain it, bro. I, I, I'm i going to say mine because I feel like mine, I I barely started realizing it, uh, which is uh, just like never get comfortable. Like, like I was in a set of my point of life where I was never getting comfortable. Like, you know, every day getting more money, getting this, doing that. And then there's a certain point in my life when I got enough money. I Ooh. thought I had enough money, right? And I got comfortable, right? I was like, uh, I don't need to work as much. I don't got to do this. And, like, I feel like if I kept my, my driven from a younger age, but right now I would have been rich, rich, you know? Like, but then, like, it, like you live and you learn. But I feel like if you start working from 15 and saving all your money, but just imagine when you're 25, how much money you would have. Like, you can imagine, you could buy a whole a fucking uh, Ferrari or something. Like, It'll, obviously that would be stupid, right? But yeah. you could do it. It also depends on how much you're saving, too. Like, if you're getting an allowance, too, then that helps. Because I mean, what's that? The, like your parents giving you money? Yeah, I never had that. I Did mean, you have we that? never had that shit either. <laughs> Damn, what the? What are you talking I'm about? Saying, <laughs> I'm saying, in most cases, especially nowadays, parents are actually giving. They're really? More, yeah, they're more. Um, Some white people. What's the <laughs> fucking word yeah, I'm looking for? Uh, uh-huh. They're more. Um, damn, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, uh, but basically, yeah, like they'll give their kids allowance and like, I don't know, fifty bucks maybe. If you're lucky, you'll get a hundred bucks. But I mean, goddamn! How yeah. often? How often is this happening? Once a month. Once a month. Yeah. What? Okay. I, since you're talking about allowances, what do you what do you think is a benefit from allowances, and what do you think is a negative from allowances? What do you guys think? I mean, a benefit would be is if you taught them how to use their money, then they're gonna have a decent amount of money saved up. If you didn't teach them about money, then they're gonna waste it all, <laughs> and there won't be anything left. They'll be out. They'll be. They'll have no money by the end of the week. By end of the month, right? No, end of the week, even. So, like, so okay. I was confused. <laughs> so I heard your negative, but what's your positive point of view on that? Like, what what's good from giving people allowance? Teaching them if you teach them how if you teach them from an early age how to play how to use their money, like um, then they'll save up their money. Money management is what you're talking yeah, about. Money oh. management. You teach them how to manage their money at a young age. What do you think, Matthew, on that? What's the good and bad thing about allowances? Probably the same, but are you looking at it from the parents' point of view or the kids' point of view? Damn, that's a good question. Like, he's looking at it at a parent's point of view. What about you for kid? Like, what's a positive and a negative? You could easily save your money up and buy something. Buy something you really need, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Damn, I never thought about it from a kid's perspective. That makes a lot of sense. So, so what's the negative if you're a kid? That you're not gonna have money to spend <laughs> on stuff, <laughs> or you're sent, or you're letting your friends borrow money. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, guys. I, I got. Hold on. Let me interrupt. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I feel like a negative could also be like, oh, like this life. Like I'm gonna get money every like certain time. Like. Yeah, then no, you don't mm, work like, for it, right? Yeah, you don't work for it. Yeah, That's so, like what I think would be the biggest negative for the kid, right? Yeah. yeah. Very good one too, Brian. You made a point right there, man. But I wanted to switch the topic off to like end to like end the podcast. Uh, mm. Um, since Valentine's is coming up, oh. mm. I wanted to ask you guys something. What's so, up? I'm gonna like for you and your opinion, right? Say you're with a girl you really like, <clears throat> like you genuinely like her. How would you and like you really want to do something special on Valentine's Day, right? You really want to do something special. You want to like you know take it up a level. How would you do your Valentine's Day with her? I want to hear it. Detail by detail from every one of you. Are we talking present time? What? Like, no, no, no. I'm saying like... Right, like, like in general. Like, just imagine, right? Ideal? Like, imagine, imagine. Okay, okay, okay. You have the girl you really like, and you believe she's like... She's worth it, right? Mm. Which is hard now, right? Mm-hmm. And Ooh. like... And you want to make it this Valentine's Day really special for her. Yeah. How would you approach it? What would you do? If anyone has it, they can go ahead and speak. Brian, you got one? Are we anywhere in the world or like in Georgia? What's your basic? You what's your ideal? You can do whatever you want. You can take her wherever you want. Your ideal night. Your ideal, like you're trying to make this perfect. Uh, <clears throat> so, take her down to Atlanta to a nice little bar or no, r- nice little restaurant. Have like a few drinks and shit, and then take her to a hotel inside, like in Atlanta. And then like she's gonna open the door and there's gonna be rose petals and candles and shit. And be like, Happy Valentine. Okay. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, you know. You're gonna close the door. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just fireworks. That's all I can say. Fireworks? So, so that's your perfect Valentine's Day. He's making babies, that's what he's doing. <laughs> right, what about you, Matthew? What's your perfect Valentine's Day? Probably the same going to Atlanta. Probably smoking. Um sure. going, to be going out to eat. Going to like a little place to to chill. like chill, yeah. yeah. Having that big ass like bouquet of flowers, you Ooh. know what I'm talking about? Oh. Yeah, you didn't even say fucking oh, Ramo. Yeah. You yeah. Ramo, bro. Cause they're all waiting at the apartment, bro. <laughs> oh, he right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, how'd you get the rose petals on the floor? You right, you right. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Come on now. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Okay, okay, okay. What about you, Ace? Um, this is the ideal woman for me. Yeah, this is perfect. the ideal day. Yeah. Uh. I'd probably take her out to. Damn, there's this really nice quick trip. <laughs> <laughs> you get little mamon, little, <laughs> little taquitos, like a little taquitos. And we eating chimichangas tonight. <laughs> <laughs> damn, that's fucked up. I right, continue, continue. Uh, damn, I'd probably take her to Italy. I love it. Damn! And do what over there exactly? No, he Take her out to eat. He make some uh, go on a little boat ride down the river. I mean, oof! There's plenty of things you can do. And then I mean, you know, gotta get her a bouquet. Um, basically, ahead of time, plan out with the restaurant, coordinate. They're like, hey, bring in my my lovely lady here. I need you to have a bouquet at this time after we're done eating. And then, like, you know, a good champagne, your best champagne. Let me get that, too. And then I pay beforehand. Damn, perro. That way, we don't even get the tab. We just, we just walk out. Damn. Jeez. This is ideal. Oh, that's some Rico Suave shit right there. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, continue, continue. And then, I mean, yeah, just end the night. Uh, take a walk down Milan. Damn, that's crazy. Man, I don't even know if I can top that. I had I have something in mind, but I'm gonna say, just say it, right? Go for it. What's your right. ideal? So, this is my ideal day. I've I've always, I've thought about this like a few times already. That's why I wanted to ask you guys now, so we're getting closer. Mm. But my mm. ideal day, if she really deserves it, which is hard for a girl to deserve it, <laughs> um, I would I would make her call off work, <clears throat> and 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 I would pay her her day, like because she's t- spending the day off to be with me. I would pay her the day. Because that's how much I care for her. Like, cause like, there's two things I don't play with. Time. 
Money and time. So I'm like, if, if someone's taking my time, I, I expect to get paid. So if I'm taking your time, I would give her her day, right? <clears throat> and then what I would do is we, we would go on a morning hike, you know, have our morning sex, do all that cool stuff, you know? <laughs> and after we do that, in the boss I, after we do that, we would drive up to Blue Ridge. I would get like an Airbnb damn. because I feel like, I feel like a hotel is kind of like, damn, like it's the one I stay, you know? Yeah, I, I would get like, a, I would get a nice cabin in Blue Ridge. Right, if the money's right, right? Mm -hmm. uh, get a cabin in Blue Ridge, you know, chill with her. I've always, always, always wanted to have a picnic with a girl. I've never had one in my whole life. And, mm -hmm. I've, and, I've, and I've never told the girl this, but I want to have a picnic with a girl one day. I feel like it's in my bucket list. Mm -hmm. No, you can't take him, bro. You have to earn that shit. Okay, I, I want to have a picnic. I have to right? approve. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to have a picnic, right? That's, uh -huh. I would have a picnic with the girl. And then after that, you know, have some more sex. And then after we do oh, that, love it. after oh. we do that, I, I would try my best to cook us food. I would buy like like ribeyes. You'll be like Brian. Come I on. would buy ribeyes or something, <laughs> and like eat ribeyes. And after we do that, I would want to go zip lining. I've always liked zip lining. After we do zip lining, come back, yeah, fuck, the, the fuck in the just, car again. The day just lasts like forever for you. No, <laughs> bro. Like, like, we started the day at like five in the morning, God bro. Damn. Early. But you're going to be exhausted after that. Hell no. Red Bull after Red Bull. Then after we do that, I would take it to a nice dinner. I would buy her a freaking Rambo Buchon with like a hundred flowers. Like crazy shit. I, I would buy her a pair of chocolates. Man, and then after we do that, if she's for real the one, we'll come home and make babies. No cap. If she for real the one, oh, but if she not, then, you know. Shit. That's my ideal Valentine's Day. God, that's my. That's what I think. You but know? you're gonna have these girls dreaming. God, nah. they're gonna be like, oh my they're god, they're gonna be trying extra hard. <laughs> nah, if a girl ever gets that, just know that you're the one. If you get that, yeah, mm, you better not break his heart, or break your face. Yeah, god damn, damn motherfucker, that's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, what I think. I've, I've always imagined that. I just never said it until now. I was like, damn, I always thought about that. But that's nice. Yeah, man. So anything you gotta say before we close this podcast? Mm. Any 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 words of wisdom for Matthew? Any any you want to shout? Oh, before we go, man, we gotta talk about your famous TikTok, man. Oh shit! Yeah. We gotta talk about your famous TikTok, man. So oh, man. so there's this TikTok of him flushing toilet paper down a toilet, and it got so many views. I'm just like, okay. My first question: What inspired that? Like, what inspired you to flush the toilet? Well, um, I was just thinking. I was. What's it called? Staying after school because I was feeling chemistry. My mom wouldn't let me go home early. Whoa. So I wouldn't go to the chemistry class, though. I would just chill at the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and one day I just had an idea just to make a video about me flushing the toilet. And I did that. And that's how I started. Damn. This motherfucker popped, bro. Let me see if I can pull it up. Wait, like, so basically you... How, how did that go? Um, I just... Put a bunch of toilet paper in the, and what's it called, the toilet, and it clogged up. And it just clogged <laughs> up the whole toilet, and it started flushing, and it just wouldn't stop. Like from you the know? dispenser, you just yeah. leave it into the, oh, oh shit. The Yo, this video currently right now has 1.4 million views. And 280,000 likes. Look at that. Bro, I think I've seen that fucking video. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and he just keeps oh, flushing it. Oh, shit. Bro, that's God hella. Damn. <laughs> 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 like, all this shit going no. down. And then once it starts over flushing, he grabs his book back, I think. Yeah, dude. Right? Yeah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Bro. I would have never, never thought about this. You don't know why you did it. You just did it. Oh, no. Oh, this shit Actually, started fucking. No. <laughs> He's like, I'm Squirt. out. Oh. It starts over. Dude. I, I wanted to see if I can, you know, make the toilet paper. Just put a little oh, bit in it. Oh, and then roll and it in. just continuously continue, go. And uh, it wouldn't work. So I just put a bunch of toilet paper in there. Oh, and this yeah. Just to fuck around. <laughs> then if we can guys we're gonna play it up here if Gus can get it done if not then we're, we're gonna tag his TikTok underneath in the description so you yeah. guys can follow him yeah yes, dude sir. that shit came viral I was looking at it I was like how in the hell I was like, that's smart man that, that, congrats <laughs> man congrats man that, that man I want to talk about that earlier but I forgot but uh, yeah man um, do you post like actively on, on TikTok or you stopped Um, I kind of stopped after that um but the funny part is that's not the first time I posted that video. 
What oh, you posted fuck? it more than once? I posted it the original time, and it had like 500,000 views. Yeah. And then my friend, we were at lunch. He got my phone. He deleted it. Damn. Uh, that's not a friend, bro. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do to your friend? I was pissed, bro. I was actually pissed. <laughs> that's like, a lot of views, bro. Right, that's a okay. million views. Damn. Damn. Fucking jealous. Yeah. I would have slapped that boy. Like, Man, that? No yeah, cap. I threw his lunch on the floor. Oh, <laughs> I remember that. As you should. <laughs> as you should. <laughs> Fuck that dude, bro. Damn. Okay, so then after that happened, what'd you do? You reposted it that same day? or I, I tried to keep on reposting, and TikTok kept on taking it down. Oof. After like a couple of days later, I, I reposted it one more time, and it just stayed there. And then it just blew up even more. Damn. Damn, Damn that's like, crazy. Yeah, but we need to do something like that, man. Because, like, we've been active on TikTok, but the most views we've got on a video is, what, 2,000? 2,000 views? Sure. 2,500? Something like that. But we need to do something funny like that, bro. We need to, we need to <laughs> post more. I feel like we can grow if we post more. Because our first video sure. did, like, what, 500 views, and second one did 900, and then this one 2,000. So the we're video, slowly growing. The video me deadlifting has, like, 7,000 now. It does? I think Damn. so. Damn. Okay. We're probably gonna Bad throw one. some more gym vlogs in there. We, we you should, hitting, right? Since we're hitting the gym so much. Yeah, we should definitely. <clears throat> man, then we got PR coming up on March, no? Yeah, next month, man. Next, next month. month, PR day. I'm ready for that. All right, man. So, any back back to the original oh, yeah, question yeah, I was yeah. gonna ask you? Anything you want to tell the audience? Because our audience currently right now is mostly females, so oh. just have that in mind, right? So, what would you mm. tell to our female <laughs> listeners? <laughs> And males too It's, um, it's like 70, 70 30 Just keep on working And make your bag bro like, no don't, cap. Spend, don't spend no money Hell Anything yeah. you guys That's it uh, Johnny's not single Don't hit him up please uh, Thank you for understanding <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that bro Be, nah. be, be for real uh, Be for real Just um, Chase your dreams horrible. Hell yeah Get out my boy bro He's single Alright anyways uh, Just Make your dreams become a reality. Um, and work, stop being a work, skinny bitch, Tom. Work, work for what you want, and you know what? All right, let me let me let me get serious with y'all real quick. I don't understand why, like after you start becoming success, successful and started putting in that work, like you've been working your ass off, and people are like jealous of you, mm-hmm. and people get jealous of you, but they don't know the shit <clears throat> that you went through to get to that point, bro. Facts, facts, and big like, facts. I just don't understand why people be hating so much, but hey, that's life, I guess. Fuck the haters, they motivators. What about Ace? What do you got, bro? Don't be scared to change. Get your shit together. Ponte las pilas, cabrón. Basically. Facts, facts. So guys, be happy. Have a have a blessed, blessed Friday. Stay have safe. Have safe sex. Have safe sex or no <laughs> sex. Looking at us. <laughs> and we are at the Bar <laughs> Talk Podcast, yes. and we are out. Later, Peace. guys.